Washington, the Department of Homeland Security, out with a new warning. It involves as a possible threat to sports arenas and other venues as we head into March Madness. Catherine Herridge, how serious of a threat is this? Well, um... Now, the first of a two-part conversation with former Federal Reserve Chairman Alan Greenspan. Well, first of all, the Federal Reserve is an independent agency, and that means basically that uh, there is no ag other agency of government which can overrule actions that we take. I sincerely believe the banking institutions having the issuing power of money are more dangerous to liberty than standing armies. Thomas Jefferson. You must understand the Federal Reserve is a cartel made up of the major banks in America. And they are the ones that are running the show, not the federal government. Who owns the Federal Reserve? It's secret and we can't find out what's happening. So, but the Congress created it, and it's not authorized in the Constitution. The government borrows money from a private corporation using the name federal that prints United States on it, and then it pays back to the Fed, which is owned by private banks. We don't know who all those private banks are. The money that the government is paying back to the private bankers is the money that comes from you and me. Your paycheck might be worth a little less than usual this week. That's because the value of the U.S. dollar has dropped to historic lows because of fears about the health of the U.S. economy. And now some investors are wondering if America's up for sale to the highest foreign bidder. Operation Change for the Better from the United States government and Halliburton. Working together to round up every cent you have. God bless the If this were a dictatorship, it'd be a heck of a lot easier. <laughs> Just so long as I'm the dictator. <laughs>